braining someone basically means hitting them on the head very hard, and it's a club. Oh, you mean like Ted Vader, but that's shovel and the manager. Probably, I wouldn't know. Okay, I need to ask: Do you not watch Chad Vader? Is he related to Darth Vader? Yes. Okay. But no. So, all right. Excuse me, people. I think I need to get this off my chest. No. Ah, shot your gas mask. <laughs> I do not even wear a gas mask. Darth Wait, Vader does. Say, yeah, but I am not Darth Vader. I just oh, think hey, he's sort of tropical spiders. They and look they're like still oh. not insects. Tropical <laughs> spiders are not insects. <laughs> okay, people, now Cobra is going to have another rant. I really like spiders, and I hate it that people constantly think that they're insects. They're not. They never have been, never will be insects. They are arachnids. Well, really people are stupid. Most people can be a little stupid. I mean, I would understand that one making, one's making a mistake like 20, 50 years ago, but for now, education should have erased that pathetic myth. Oh, hey, mantis! Mantids. They are insects! Mantis are insects! Spiders oh. are not! What the hell is that? It looks like a... No, oh, sorry. It looks like it is a sphinx, but... Yeah, I died. Man. We are getting clobbered with the claws of the mantids. Was that an attempt at a joke? It vaguely sounded like an attempt at a joke, but it was really No, funny. it was just a mere phrase of words. If I try and make a joke, I will tell you first, so you may have the chance to block your ears. Okay. Ow. Not very sturdy for insects. What do we have here? You know... Insects no, I... of this size or should really be asphy asphyxiating. And that means? Be, that means they wouldn't be able to breathe. Oh, I see. Because of how they're built and their exoskeleton and all that or what it yep. is. Their design is to be... I mean, insects don't, and spiders alike don't really have lungs. Um, the only way they would be able to breathe in a, when they're this big would be for the oxygen level to be really, really high. And while that may not sound dangerous, it would be high enough to be dangerous to all lungs. I see. I mean, humongous spiders have existed in the dawn of time, when the oxygen level of Earth was much bigger. You know, I suddenly noticed something. What is that? You are a bad tank. Don't yes. you have something that can, like, aggro stuff, like, taunt? No, not really. All I can say is that I was very excited about these new enemies, so I just went overboard. Okay. I just threw caution to the wind. Yeah, well, you have to go first now, because now they can actually kill me again. And while that is a nice change of pace, it doesn't mean I have to adjust to the whole... I can't really not... I can't really have... What is what I'm looking for? What is the word for when you don't need something? Uh, accept or... No, accept is when you uh, take something. Oh, I see. What is it when you can... not need something? Or you do not need something or anything like that? Uh, when I can not need something. Oh. Well, I have no idea. Ah, yes! I have to uh, suddenly accept the fact that you are no longer unnecessary for me to continue. I see. But really, Cobra, this is probably the third time I've told you you need to remember to drink your health potions. I did. It takes time to recharge. Yes, but I'm glad you at least follow my advice. Despite being a mage that basically swallows the soul of your enemy. And now I forgot, so that just jumps right back wow, at Wow, that, that was some hardcore karma right there. Yes. Remember to heal your health. Drink your health potions. <laughs> yeah, what about yourself? Yeah, I know. Just pressing repeatedly on the 9 button and just... Okay, fine. It takes maybe 3 seconds to cool down and that is 3 seconds too many. Yep. So, yeah. So, I'd like to remind you that I can fear the enemy if you need it. 
Yeah, but you must remember that sometimes my would-be intelligence revert back to the either attack, defend, or just look stupid. I mean, you don't have to go like, Michael, my dear friend, I would very much like to request that you use the fear ability on, the, on our enemies as they are about to rip me to shreds, as they did five seconds ago. I mean, just shouting FEAR would be enough. Alright, I will remember to say FEAR next time we need to FEAR something. Um, yeah. Ah, my gravestone. Yep. A tombstone. I never really understood. Is there a difference between gravestone and tombstone or headstone? No, I think it's just the same word for the same thing. I think I could actually make a splendid liking to Black Adder. If you ever see my tombstone with the writing, Here lies Rana and he's bloody annoyed. That would sort of describe me. Because I do not really think I would rest long in my grave if I could. Well, most people don't get a choice. Well, virtually I hate dying. Uh, yeah, you're right. I don't like dying either. It's no fun and it often hurts. And, well, in real life I am only 22. I have my whole life ahead of me. You make it sound like you already tried dying, by the way. That was a joke, in case you missed it. I see. But yes, I have the whole life ahead of me. But there are just some things in life I am very, very, very sad face that I cannot achieve. I have to say, I dropped the idea of having my story turned into uh, an anime. Just get some fans and you're bound to find someone crazy enough to actually do it. You know, that is not my greatest worry. My greatest worry is that I sometimes, for not to say a few times in my stories, make certain references. And if I even just as much as mention Halo in them, oh my god, the copyright sharks will be down on my ass. Yeah, well, just use some bland name products like have them playing a uh, Hola, a new game about a nameless space machine finding stuff. Oh, I and see. there's a giant. Land. A jungle cleave. Well, he shrunk. Have we fought plants before, by the way? No. I do not recall. Huh. Well, new enemy type. Yeah. yeah my staff will probably be good. I w hey, I wonder, can I drain life from plants? I'm not sure. I mean, they're probably living, yeah, but... Are they living enough? Well, they are organic life. Yeah, but isn't a zombie also organic? I wonder. We just need to find someone else and test it on them. That's all. So don't kill them. Alright, I will leave the plants to you for now. Well, not for now. Just next time. We need to experiment. Yeah, alright. Just be careful not to kill too many plants. You know what happens when that... Uh, yeah, you know what will happen. No. Alright, do I really need to say... We will have a green-skinned, red-haired, scantily-clad woman pop out and say, You're hurting my children! Ah, uh, yes, because obviously that was a reference to Poison Ivy. Yes, How it did was. I not see that? Because it was so stupid, you did not foresee it. At least you admit what was wrong with it. That's always nice. Yes, but heck, we are in the middle of a jungle so to speak, a jungle temple, and you do not expect me to make a Poison Ivy reference. No, really, no. I mean, maybe well, if we met some did. sort of crazy green druid babe who, re who created all this thing, and yeah, I could expect a Poison Ivy reference. Or maybe if you used her name or something, like, it looks like a Poison Ivy's been here, then maybe I would have gotten, but the way you used it, like... If you kill too many planes, you know what would happen, right? I mean, seriously, that joke was dumb. I know what yeah. you're trying to do here, but seriously. Yes, but you also make uh, what I consider either dumb or too obvious jokes. Yeah, but the problem is that you're trying to make a genuine reference, and I make dumb jokes intentionally. Unless it was a dumb reference intentionally. Which is just very, very weird. I am a weird person. Well, yeah, I don't want to.
I really begin to question sometime. What do you think people enjoy most about these LPs? Either the fact that we are slaughtering our way through countless minions Ooh, of the darkness, staff. or the fact that the two of us are bickering constantly. I have no clue, but I suppose but since we talked about it this episode, that they will in fact say what they like about it. Right, fan? Heck, maybe we'll even get more than one comment on this video. <laughs> that would be nice. I know, I mean, do I'll not be really honest, honest. These uh, Titan Quest videos don't exactly get that many comments. Not that my videos usually do. I get one, two at most. Unless it's a special video, like the first The Suffering video. Or the first, uh, the first Dragon Age Origins video. Then I can get a uh, four, five, maybe even six video. Okay, let's test this. Hold on. Uh, ah, I oh, see. I can't suck life from them. Now help me. Your lich is doing a worse job than I did. He engaged hostiles without them even knowing he was there. Yeah, and he killed them. Kick the ass as he did. I'm proud of him. Dear Lord, if you even paid me money for this, I would demand twice the price now. Do I have to start paying you so I can cut your wages? <laughs> no, not really. I mean, money is not the thing that makes an LP go right. Imagine if you were paying me maybe 100 crowns per LP. Yeah, that well, you know what, that, that reminds sort of me, if somebody sent me an offer that I could buy subscribers, and I didn't do that, because honestly, I want subscribers because we want to watch my videos, not just to inflate Wait, some... Wait, hold on. Buy subscribers? Yep, something for about a program where... And I don't buy into that sub for sub either. I subscribe because I want to follow whatever the uh, person's doing, and I expect people to do the same, not out of some agreement, so to inflate a number so I can be really proud of my ep -ness. And one thing I have to ask, what exactly is subscription all about? I know you follow people, but in the end, what is it really worth other than keeping track of what they do? Well, uh, in theory... Oh, look, I have another new weapon for you. Let's see. In theory, if you have a lot of subscribers, that means that you are a good video producer of some kind or another. It's not always true, mind you, in my opinion, but, well, some apparently like it. I mean, it's just like, let's say, Justin Bieber. Lots of people buy Justin Bieber music, but I don't think he's a good musician. Lots of people don't. I mean, you can't really use numbers like that to say if someone is good or bad, especially because good or bad is very much opinion. And by the in way, cases um, like this, where you buy subscribers, these are not people who's going to comment on your video like I'm interested in, not give their opinions. They're just there to inflate the number, to give the illusion that a lot of people think you're really, really cool. So yeah, I might just get one subscriber every other month. But you know what, that's subscribers who want to watch my videos, and I'm damn proud of that, to be able to do that. Yeah... I sort of understand now, but I have something to admit then. What? Well, first of all... You know that, uh, shall we say, crazy Miss Lady Gaga? Yeah. I need to be honest, when I first saw Linkara's uh, review of that comic that she featured in, I looked a bit more into it, and I have to be honest and say, I am not a fan, but I can... Uh, Nod my head and give a few applauses to uh, Lady Gaga. Yes, because that was relevant. Why did you bring that up? Because we were talking about the entire thing about subscriptions and... Yeah. So, I may only have 41 subscribers, but I'm proud of having f made each of those people like me with what I produce rather than just buying 1,000s. Look, why are you constantly trying to go up the stairs? Because I fear there are enemies there. There are enemies everywhere. Yeah, well, yeah, but we'll clean out the floor first. We've done that all the way up until now. Why would it change just because it's the first set of stairs? I do not know. I just want to kill stuff, and at the same time, I feel well, like... Well, we are... You want to kill stuff? Yeah, because it's not like we're doing that over here, right? It's all like, peace and quiet. Not killing stuff here. No siree. I'm sarcastic, by the way. Cobra, I need to be honest. In the next suffering video, I hope a slayer takes your head off. Who knows? Who knows? Go slayers! Go slayers! Go slayers! I didn't know you were into heavy metal. Not into heavy metal. I am a full blood Scandinavian heavy metal fan. Oh, okay. 
for Pete's sake, I do not only listen to Lordy, I also Wait, listen to stuff Lordy like... Wait, isn't Hard Rock? No, it is also Heavy Metal. So it's both Hard Rock and Heavy Metal. You know yes, what, I can't of... find heads and tails in music genres, to be perfectly honest. Well, let me just give you a clue. For instance, another band I like, like Man of War, is completely Heavy Metal. As well as the... You know what, I'm just listening to what sounds good. I can't be both to find around blues, orchestral, pop, and God knows what else descriptions. That sounds like different rocks found in a mine or something. Seriously. Yeah, but I can also admit that I am into techno. At least when it sounds good. Well, duh. You, why would you listen to music you don't think that sounds good? That's just stupid. Yeah... Almost as stupid as the fact that I cannot touch that guy. Oh, but I can. So that's just experience for me. Yes, because you have a long range weapon and I already oh, gave that up. I already gave up my bow a yeah. long time ago. <laughs> Sorry. Got something in your mouth? Yeah, acid. Oh, I see. No, seriously. Stomach acid. Oh, I see. It hurts. Yes. Cry me a river. I might, but it will not be intentionally. It's just a reaction to, you know, the searing pain of some stomach acid. It's just welling up in your throat for a little while. I see. So yeah, I might just cry, but it will be unintentional, believe me. It'll just be a reaction to the pain. God damn it, you could monologue about anything! Yes. This morning I just stepped out of bed. I noticed that my left toe was hurting. I looked down on you know my toe. You know the difference between my and your monologues are? What? I make the mundane sound interesting. You make the interesting sound mundane. I get the feeling you just insulted me deeply. Maybe. If you can figure it out, I'm sure I ain't gonna tell you. What's the fun in that? Well, I have to be completely honest. I am glad you take this out on me and not someone else that... Well, shall we say, it's not as 